Okay guys, enjoying watching us react to these Naruto clips? If so, please use the link in the video's description and support Masashi Kishimoto and all official Naruto releases. Thanks guys! Okay guys, Mr. Almighty Push is getting to be an almighty pain in the ass because he just hurt the toads and I really like the toads. And, well, this fight is insanely awesome. But before we get into today's episode, uh, I just want to tell you guys something real quick. This is episode 165. I've been told by a few of you that in this episode, there's a really um, important long speech from Pain to Naruto. And everybody's saying, oh, I want to see all of it. I want to see all of it. Don't cut any of it. Guys, because uh, we like something doesn't excuse me from fair use slash copyright. I have no idea how long the speech is. But... I cut over half of these episodes out and I have to continue doing so. I don't have an option, particularly now that I've defended myself with how I do things uh, against cop uh, copyright claims in the past on these. So it has to be done the same way. That's why I'm, a I'm allowed to do them is because I've proven to YouTube that we're doing things within fair use. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. I know all of you have watched this first. There'd be no sense to watching with me if you hadn't already watched the series. If you want to get, you know, if you want to refresh your memory on the speech or whatever before you watch this, by all means, go ahead. And again, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the speech isn't as long as I think it's going to and it can stay in intact. But I'm going to guess probably not. So just give everybody a heads up and relieve a lot of consternation in the comments later. In any event, let's go see who gets almighty pushed next because he, Payne doesn't seem to want to stop goddamn doing that. Yes, and he asked that no one interfere. Then all we can do now is have faith and trust Naruto. I don't know, I still think somebody's got to interfere at some point. <laughs> no, wait! Huh? Lady Hinata! But Naruto's risking his life for our village! If you interfere in this kind of a battle, then you're only going to get in his way. Ma, we must launch the Genjutsu right away. Performing a duet in front of everyone is always so embarrassing. Wouldn't you quit complaining? <laughs> Just do it. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. Really now, like these two. Genjutsu requires an enormous amount of Sage Jutsu Chakra. <laughs> yeah. A lot of pain carnage Naruto's created. I must say you're truly strong, Naruto. This is the farthest that pain has ever been pushed. But no more. It's over. Universal pull. Oh, shit. That was going to end this right too easy. Now. Come on, man, pa. Let's go. Forgive us, Naruto boy. What's happening? I'm losing power. Wait, I get it. This guy's ability. He's sucking all the Absorbing it in. chakra right out of me. God damn it. Oh, great. The Nine Tails has now been captured. This is a bit bad. Not yet. I'm not done. You're quite the stubborn one, aren't you? I guess you didn't know about this, but nature energy is really hard to control. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's cool as hell. <laughs> what is this? That's it. That pain took in too much sage jutsu chakra from Naruto boy and underwent petrified Ah, <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Sage Jutsu Chakra. Seems it comes with its fair share of risks. <laughs> you right. think? We're finally down to just you. Well, unfortunately, that's not correct. There is another manipulating these pains. Uh, yeah. Shows. The real pain. The real pain? Yep. This is what we've been talking about. Oh, shit. I figured it was somebody, right, we're ready now. a puppet master, Let's pulling the strings from elsewhere. Gotcha. Come on. 
I've had enough of that Genjutsu. No, come on. Shikamaru. Come on, did he kill? Pa you know, I'll be fucking pissed. All right. But the enemy's been constantly changing the chakra frequency they use. A traceback's impossible. Pain is quite adept. Come on. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, no! Bastard! <laughs> Universal pull. This push me pull you shit starting to piss me off, pain. Oh shit. So tell me, has this team do at least a little nine tails? <laughs> Try to explain it to you. Oh, here it comes. We'll use learn from the god. To it and gather every piece of intel from anyone who's Excuse me if at this point I'm a little skeptical. Even if they're dead, there may still be information that we can glean from them. And to send out signals the farthest and widest, the most logical get up highest. is the tallest tower in the hidden rain village. Way to go, dude. And that means now that his puppets are here, the real pain must be in the highest spot near the hidden leaf village. My goal is to fulfill the dream even Jiraiya Sensei was unable to achieve. Oh. As I said earlier, what I want is to create he's, peace. He's going to bring about peace. justice. Create peace? Justice? Are you kidding? Give me a break! You killed my master! And my Sensei! Hurt my friends! Destroyed my village! Yeah, no shit, dude. All for his greater good? After all of the horrible <coughs> things that you've done, don't you dare talk about peace and justice! What about my family? My friends? My village? They suffer the same fate as this village at the hands of you, Hidden Leaf Ninja. How is it fair to let only you people preach about peace and justice? <sighs> what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, I'm, I'm lost. Once. The land of fire and the hidden leaf had grown too big. To protect their national interests, they forced feudal clans to wage war against each other and profited from it. Otherwise, the people of the villages would have starved. As it happened, our little nation and its villages became the battlefield where the great nations waged their war. Each time okay. they did, our nation was ravaged and laid to waste. After many such battles, the great nation stabilized, <coughs> but our smaller nation suffered, and it barely recovered. You and I have both experienced that pain. You strive for your justice, and I strive for mine. We're both just ordinary men who have been driven to seek vengeance in the name it's of justice. There's nothing earth-shattering here. And if one comes to call vengeance justice, such justice will only breed further vengeance and trigger a vicious cycle. So Payne is saying you need war to create peace because uh, what he's right waging now, right now is war. Such a cycle. No shit. I know that Look at all high and mighty, dude. Tell our future. It is the same as our history. So we believe that human beings simply cannot understand each other and they never will. The shinobi world of ours is ruled by hatred, and hatred alone. Mm -hmm. It's life. There's too much hate? Uh, I've always wanted to do something about all of this hatred. Well, there's their world, or not quite sure our world, there's always going to be hatred. That. But I truly believe that eventually the day will come when all people will understand one another and live in harmony. Now, oh, it's not it gonna happen. Kinda complicated to me. And if I can't find the solution, it's not the nature problem, of people. Then perhaps I'll entrust you to find it instead. Hey, eh, Naruto. Yes, sir. I can't turn down a request from my master, can I, Furby Sage? So, Naruto, how would you confront this hatred in order to create peace? I 
I want to know what your answer is. By killing those who are still warring. That's what war is. That's you, Payne. I don't know. I don't have an answer. Listen, as long as anyone's goal is to achieve peace through war, there's only one solution. To break Win the war. Hatred. I can put an end to it, but I need the Nine Tails. I must have his power in order to achieve that goal. I'll use the power of all nine beasts to create a tailed beast weapon, many times stronger than the one that flattened this village. Strong enough to wipe out an entire nation. There's nothing noble here. He wants the ultimate weapon so he can be the god. I'm going to show the world what true pain is and stop all wars with the terror that pain will inspire. I shall lead the world down the road to stability and to peace. I'll, but if you I'll, do achieve peace like I'll that, force peace the whole thing is by destroying mine. anybody who... Beings are not the most intelligent of creatures. This is the uh, only way anybody peace who can be achieved. Is of opposes me. several decades, that pain too will eventually fade with time. It will no longer act as a deterrent. Humanity will return to war again. This time, they themselves will use the tailed beast weapon against one another and reconfirm what true pain is. And then, for a time, peace will briefly be restored again. In the course of this endless cycle of hatred begetting more hatred, this unbearable pain will give rise to momentary peace. That is my dream and my goal. <coughs> what? Nagato, please don't push yourself. There's Nagato. You've already spent so much chakra. Holy shit. Peace is now within our grasp. Wow. What the fuck? Okay, this, now this, I assume that is, as you guys have said, that's the speech you're waiting for me to hear. I don't know if I'm going to have the same take on it that all of you do. Basically, I mean... Payne puts this in, <clears throat> he likes to believe at least, in lofty terms, and what he's doing is for the greater good. He's, he's developing the ultimate weapon so that he can smash anyone who opposes him, and that will bring peace. There's nothing fucking new there. It's God complex. That's what it is. I will create a peace by being the almighty omnipotent that no one can, basically no one can um, oppose me. It, and but again, it's in the way you deliver something. The way he delivers it makes it sound noble. Yes, okay. His land was ravaged by war. Lots, lots of lands, whether it's this world or their world, get ravaged by war. War sucks. But people throughout history have not been able to live together peacefully. And the only thing that brings temporary pieces has been wars. The war takes place. There's a winner. There's a loser. That brings peace for a time. What pains? What Payne is proposing there is nothing different than that. He just wants to propose it from his ass, from the perspective of him being a god. And he is going to have the ultimate weapon that ensures peace because if you don't believe it, he'll fucking kill you. That's. It, I don't know. I don't haven't learned everything about, certainly about Nagato or Payne or however you want to put it. But as of right now, just another warmonger. Well, more than that, just another god complex as far as I'm concerned. And yes, I would like Naruto to somehow get up off that ground and kill his dumbass. That's, that's where I'm at right now.